my goodness, I can't believe I found one of these sitting on a shelf in a Goodwill in Las Vegas. This is definitely vintage, possibly antique. It's a pottery butter churn. Now I want to try to turn it around to see if I can find the maker's mark that I'm looking for. It's really, really heavy, but hold on. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Friday night about 7 o'clock and I decided to stop into Goodwill to see if they've restocked for Saturday morning. Let's go in and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting! The parking lot is really empty. I'm hoping that there's not many people in there so I can film without getting in anybody's way and we can find some treasures. I'm hoping that they've restocked for Saturday morning but there's lots of carts that means there's not many people in there so let's go in and see what we can find. Let's grab a cart and make our way back to the hard goods section. The colour of the week is grey. All grey tags are 50% off. I've had some subscribers mention that all of a sudden they've been unsubscribed to mine and some of their other favourite channels. So please do take a second to go in and make sure you're subscribed to Thrifting Vegas and all the other channels that you love. I've also been asked, what are all those brown chunks laying on the ground at the dog park? Those aren't poop. <laughs> those are big chunks of wood chips that the dogs love to play with. Here we are in the hard goods section. The shelves are really lovely and full. Let's have a look and see what they have. Here are the candles. Oh, look at this. It's either a candle tray or a trinket dish. It's a gorgeous light blue color, $1.99. The first thing to put in our cart. Let's keep going. Always lots and lots of candles. Here's another little Mexican painted trinket box. This is a moon and sun. It's marked Mexico for a dollar ninety nine. Let's grab this too. Do not feed the bears. And the bear says, please feed the deer. <laughs> Look at this. This is California pottery. It's a peach luster. Does have a chip on the underside, but for just 99 cents, I can't leave that behind. Let's pop it in the cart. Fix that blanket. There we go. What else do they have? Ooh, I'm seeing something way at the back here. It looks like slate. This is interesting. Reg Beach Slate Carvings. It's a decorative plaque. I love that hanger there. This is a no-brainer. Let's get it in the cart. These are wood wick 
candles. This is Twinkle Holidays. It's Merry Christmas. The fun thing about these is the wick is made of wood and it makes a crickle crackle sound when you light it. Lots of plates here. I always like to unstack plates just to see what's hiding. This one has a fun gold rim. Just not the quality I'm looking for. This is a very vintage Blendo chip and dip. Let's pop the little dip bowl inside there. Sadly, it's missing its clip to suspend the dip over the chip. We'll have to check the metal section to see if it's there. It's a fun sculpture. The base is a little bit worse for wear. Looks like some water damage on that. We'll leave her. Check up top. It's a divided dish there, made in China. Lots of coasters. Some little pigs here. I think this is a paper towel holder. They're quite chipped, unfortunately. This is a Bath and Body Works candle. Now, if this was in new condition, I would definitely pick it up. But it's $5.99 and it's used. So I'm going to leave it. We're in the clear glass section. Lots of little bowls, couple of trinket dishes here. I'm checking for any etched marks on the bottom. This is a little willow tree angel, but at $7.99, I'm going to leave her for somebody else. We'll check these for marks. It's quite a nice little compote or candy dish. Just not special enough for me to pick up. Platters at the bottom here. We're in the seasonal section. I'm still on the hunt for that little nesting pilgrim lady that I'm missing in that uh, Roman brand display. Fingers crossed that at some point she might turn up. Not quite sure what that is. It's very, very heavy. Maybe a flower stand, a vase base. Lots of baskets, Easter goodies. Let's round the corner. 
into the Christmas aisle. It's a pretty dish. It's a hallmark one, I think. Yes. It's a nice snowflake. Those are candles. Lots of tabletop florals. Decorations. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. These look like Mickey Mouse serving tongs, but sadly they're really not very good condition and they're extremely lightweight and not good quality. So I'm going to pop those back there. Lots of ornaments, Christmas balls. Shelves and shelves of decorations. Let's do one more section. Not seeing anything that I have to have. We're in the woods and plaques and signs here. Look at this cat. It's either a napkin holder or a letter rack. Needs a bit of a clean up. It's a bit dusty. It's $1.99, so we'll take that. Some interesting little plaques here. I want to take a look at this. Oh, I thought it was inlaid wood at first, but it's just painted. Not sure about that hole in the top. Possibly an artist's uh, palette, maybe. Pop that back. Some more Christmas signs down here. That's a bit worse for wear at the edges. It's all splitting. More signs, frames.
we're in the vases this is a nice etched bowl but sadly it's really really scratched lots of florists pieces here lovely if you just need something to put some flowers in all shapes and sizes Oh my goodness, I can't believe I found one of these sitting on a shelf in a Goodwill in Las Vegas. This is definitely vintage, possibly antique. It's a pottery butter churn. Now I want to try to turn it around to see if I can find the maker's mark that I'm looking for. It's really, really heavy, but hold on. Let's see if we can do it. It's got this gorgeous original lid and you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> it could definitely use a coat of mineral oil, but I'm going to have to pop my camera down in a second and use both hands because this is really, really heavy. It is Marshall Potteries out of Texas. It's a four gallon crock absolutely gorgeous vintage piece with the original lid i love it i just found a ikea cactus and my friend danny the niche lady has a collection of these so let's grab it for her lots of florals plant mats down there Check out this bowl. That's a project piece that somebody made. Always take a look at the pots underneath silk plants. You just never know what you're going to find. Some of them are vintage and branded. This little swan, I think, is just made in China. Let's peel the sticker and make sure. Yeah. We're in the metal section. I'm keeping an eye out for the metal clip that suspends that Blendo dip bowl over the chip bowl. If we find it, I'll go back and get the bowls. Lots of wine racks. Stands, baskets and candle holders. It's a picture frame stand. Oh, I thought that might be brass, but I think it's just plated metal. There's a wall pocket. Sometimes you may feel like you're just not finding anything at all on the shelves. The shelves may be a bit sparse and there's nothing new. But don't give up. Look high, look low. Lift up everything. Look at the front and the back. You just never know when you're going to find a treasure. I thought for a second this was needlepoint, but it's actually just paper stuck on the metal tray. Lots of tins. There's a fun mirror there. Little candle holder.
here we are in the mugs having a browse to see if anything jumps out at me they seem to have an overflow of Christmas mugs in this section today they're usually at the end of that Christmas aisle Ooh, I see a Wachterspark from West Germany. I have a thing for these. They're so nicely done. The colors are gorgeous. There's no damage to this one. It's only 69 cents. So I'm going to pick this up. Let's have a look to see if by any chance there's any more to match it. It would be lovely to have a set of four of those. I love these little juice glasses. I have several of them, all mismatched, but just a similar size. This is lovely with strawberries on it for 69 cents. Many of you have asked, whatever happened to all those teapots you found a couple of months ago? Well, I am happy to report that they all sold together as a collection to the same lovely lady and she is thrilled with them. I'm not seeing any more of the German mugs. These are Oneida. This is a Mary Kay mug. I always take a minute to look up Mary Kay mugs because some of them can be quite collectible. I'm going to make sure this has no damage, pop it in the cart and check it out on eBay. These look like they all came from the same person one Colonel Pitts. Lots of different colored Coca-Cola glasses down here. Those used to sell well, now not so much. This Budweiser mug is also interesting. It is $7.99, so this is another one I'm going to pop in the cart and check out on eBay. Let's have a browse through the glasses. These amber ones are still here, the cobalt blue, gorgeous colors. Lots of clear. The Dorothy Thorpe style one there, just one. 69 cents. Ikea. Ikea always does a great job of fooling me. Lots and lots of tumblers. There's an A and W all American food mug this is really nice quite weighty probably vintage since i'm checking out a couple of other mugs i'm going to pop this in the cart and check it on ebay too 
this is federal glass it has a little f in the shield here the uh, etched flying ducks i'm going to take a second to look this one up as well although i have a feeling just being one and not a set of four that it will not be worth me picking up for resale Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. It's not really drinking alone if the dog is home. <laughs> Here we are in the kitcheny bits. The shelves are a bit empty. They're probably getting ready to restock. I do like the optic quality of this canister. But it's a very modern piece, quite lightweight. Some nesting bowls. Bakers. Here's a deviled egg tray by Indiana Glass. I do have an amber one of these that's not sold yet. This one's $7.99 and it's clear, so I'm going to leave that for somebody else. It's a little glass bowl with a handle. Does that make it a basket? <laughs> so many useful pieces here. Just bowls and serving dishes. Bakers. Cake stands. If you ever need bowls or servers, do have a look at your local Goodwill and support their course. Lots of deviled egg platters. Love the colors of this jug, but it's very modern and lightweight. Lots of little bakers there. Be great for mac and cheese servings. It's a pretty blue pitcher here. That's very lightweight. Another deviled egg platter down there. Pretty green baker. Here's the top of a butter dish. Moving into the pots and pans, lots of lids. All the little kitchen odds and ends at the end here. Thank you for your 
I'm doing my second walk around the store before I leave and I notice this gorgeous recycled glass vase that I missed the first time. It has no damage. It's made from recycled glass, handmade in Spain. It's $4.99, a gorgeous light green color. Let's get it in the cart. You can get an amazing view of the store with nobody in it. It's about 8.40 on a Friday night. And I think there's only about three or four customers in here with me. Let's do our walkthrough of the artwork before we leave, just to see if they have anything fun. The little sea turtle print there and a print of a big cat. Let's have a peek behind here. Lots of different prints and frames. I thought that was a needle point, but it's just uh, a painted piece. Nothing today. Let's have a browse <laughs> through the furniture. Lots of couches today, and tables and consoles. I am still on the hunt for a very narrow little entry table for my front hall. Can only be probably less than six inches across. Lots of clothes and linens and blankets. Here's all the shoe shelves. And they are getting ready to close here. So I'm going to go check out. Here on my table is everything I brought home from Goodwill. Bandit is very interested in the little cat napkin or letter holder. <laughs> I banned it. It's very tired. We had a nap in the sun and now we need to rest. <laughs> I was immediately drawn to the gorgeous color of this blue trinket dish. It's almost luminescent. It looks like light shining into water and it has tiny little bubbles in the base. 
It reminds me of a waterfall running into a lake. It's quite thick and brutalist. It's a heavy piece. I paid $1.99 for it and I'm going to ask $20. This little cat napkin or letter holder is really fun. It's in the style of the artist Laurel Birch, but I don't think it is actually a Laurel Birch piece. One side has a little black and yellow polka dot cat, and the other side has a little stripy tabby cat. It's a lovely piece, very boho, very fun. I paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask $25. I was really excited to see this gorgeous Celtic cross on slate piece. It's by the artist Reg Beach. And I've never actually found one of his pieces in the wild. It says, this carved slate plaque is colored using waxes applied to the heated stone in the same way as the ancient Greek sculptors. Now I believe he is an English artist and I did note the English spelling of the word colored with the U in it there, but I was fascinated with the way the little hooks are applied here with wax on the back. I've never seen anything like that. I paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask $40. I love this German pottery. It's a Wachtersbach, excuse my pronunciation, of West Germany. It's a gorgeous little Christmas tree with decorations and candles. Just the gorgeous colors. Very, very Christmassy. It's not valued at a whole lot. I paid 69 cents. I can probably ask between 10 and $15. This is a wood wick candle. I've sold these in the past. They sell very well for me. The unique thing about them is they have an actual piece of wood for the wick. And when you light it, it makes a crackling sound like a fire. They're very fun. They smell really nice. This one is Merry Christmas. It's a beautiful red color with a lovely scent. I value it at $20. I just couldn't leave this lovely piece of California pottery behind. I think it's a part of a set that goes around a lazy, lazy Susan with a center dish here. It does have an old chip on the back but I couldn't bear the thought of it going into the landfill. I don't know if you can see the California pottery mark there. There we go. I paid 99 cents for it. I value it at $15 with that chip. My lovely friend, Danny the Niche Lady, has a collection of these cacti from Ikea. They look lovely on her shelves in her home. This one was lonely on the shelf, so I thought I would grab it for her and give it a nice new home with some similar friends. <laughs> this gorgeous vase is recycled from Spain. I don't think it's Vidrios, uh, which I have found several times recently, but uh, it does have the Handmade in Spain sticker. I just love the unique rings around it. It's just a gorgeous piece. It's nice and heavy, almost a, a green tinge to it. I paid $4.99 for it. I value it at $30. Last but not least, my prize of the day. This absolutely phenomenal Marshall Pottery four gallon butter churn or crock. 
It has its original wooden lid. It does have some chips and cracks around the top. Unfortunately, that is to be expected, I think. And around the sides, somewhere, it's obviously been well used. I did some research on eBay. I found one that had sold for $54 plus $83 shipping. And there are several listed between $100 and $225. I paid $7.99 for this. It is extraordinarily heavy. <laughs> so unless somebody local is interested in purchasing this gorgeous piece, I think it's going to have a home with us. Thank you so much for watching. If you see something you would like to purchase, please send me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please send your PayPal address, your shipping address, and the piece with the price of the item you're interested in. And I will see you next time. Bye. Can I have it? <laughs> Give me that bow. Can I have it? There's your friend. He gonna fight them fish. You tired? Lots of running today. Today, the glass went onto our shower. It's a double door. The right hand door opens, the left hand is static. I'm absolutely thrilled with how it looks. We're not allowed to open it for 24 hours to let the uh, sealant seal. And also today, I don't know if you can see, but our closet organizer is going in. This is the base color. It's going to be all white. It's going to be absolutely fantastic.